Come here now, girl. Hello, this is Digital, and I have shown some clips of the Playmade bases in some of my other videos about what some of the new modules are and what they do. So, in this video, I decided now I think it's time that I perhaps share my opinion on the base player system. So, in this video, I am going to talk about it and enjoy. Firstly, I'm going to talk about what I think is good about this game. So, firstly, I tend to see squads of ants. They have at least 30 men, you know, 30 plus infantry platoon at a warp gate, and these people seem to build this entire base system right outside the enemy warp gate. In this case, it's usually TRs because, well, it's TR, everyone knows. This is great because there is a completely new flow of battle. The battles aren't on high populated areas on the map, but are actually next to the warp gate. One problem is, is that these bases are too capable of stopping an entire zerg of like 80 plus people and the defenders are only like 25 to a 48 man sort of players so this small amount of players are stopping this entire zerg of infantry with tanks and aircraft and they are doing pretty much nothing the walls are indestructible now which makes it almost impossible to sort of full assault a base head on it, it's great so basically now that these people can defend this base of almost nothing Reinforcements can come in, they help, and then that faction push. Another thing great about player bases is the ant. If you have a certain ant with perhaps a gun and an upgrade, upgraded tank to 10,000 uh, Cortium space, you can create a small little outpost which not only sits there and defends, but it's also a small gre regroup area. If you have tanks or harassers who are driving past, aircraft who are being shot out, if you have a shield repair modules there, this base won't move really unless people actively come and destroy it, so your people can land and repair and go. This makes this base an asset, not just a structure that's just sitting in the middle of an area on the map. They've truly changed this game for the better. Like when I'm being chased in an aircraft and there's a friendly base there and I'm being hit, I can go in, duck under the shield, repair it, and I'm right back into the battlefield all over again instead of having to run away and regroup. It's a lot easier. Talking about ant upgrades, the ant is not just a mining car but is a very incredible aggressive vehicle. They have light armor that in my opinion is a lot stronger than the harasser but they lack the speed making them hard to remove at range sitting at a fight using a top gun to kill any player who gets close enough is a very satisfying feeling the basilisk and the cobalt are two of the best guns for this you really all you need is one engineer and your ant now if you play with a friend using things like the cloak ability the shield ability this will increase how deadly this weapon uh, and ant is so Really, it's about making the most of what vehicles you have at your disposal. Now, as every new thing in a game, it has bad things. First, which is small and annoys me very much, is the ant is very strong. It takes many rockets before falling, but if you happen to come across an AA Lightning, trust me, it will chew through your armor. It does more damage than an anti-tank uh, weapon, which makes no sense to me, given that anti-tank is designed for armor and AAA, so something that will get you thinking. Another thing in one of my other videos is, is the places to build are too small and they're adding great new content but they're making it harder for larger squads to build more efficient bases. The room is small and the deployable seems to be getting a lot bigger in some aspects. Now there are also some places where people build bases and I find it is pretty much impossible to assault them. This one place on Indar and on Amarish where if you place a sky shield two or three round the sides it will cover pretty much all the entrances into the base which pretty much means infantry have to run in there, pop midkits and fight. This is halting pretty much fights and it to me it makes it really unpleasant to, to fight in this sort of environment. The last thing I want to say is that the new update for making bases indestructible I believe was perhaps not a great idea. There are some fights where it's almost like I said impossible to do it. Maybe if they'd have halved certain damage types towards the walls instead of making them indestructible with the repair modules is is that there are some fights like indoor excavation on indoor is the fights that fight is always back and forth. And there's that middle section where if they build a base there, the other faction can't push. Tanks can't get past, infantry can't get past, and then the whole fight just stops. 
that faction then will push again, and then they'll get in, and then they'll get pushed out, and then the faction can't push again. And I think players are going to start getting bored with this. Now, I'm I'm always saying that I'm getting tired of it myself. I like fighting with bases. I want to see really good base fights. But I want to be in the fight when it's destroyed. I want to fight with my faction. I want to die with my faction and enjoy the game. Not none of this sitting around in bases that won't move and no one pushing. It's not fun at all. That's all I have to say about the base system. Uh, thank you for watching. I'd just like to say thank you to the few players who have messaged me in game about my channel, saying that they like it. So thank you, it means a lot. Uh, I will leave my names and my factions in the description if you want to message me in game. So thank you for watching. Hope you like it. Please leave a comment of your opinion of the base system as well. And I will see you next time. Come here now, girl.